Morning Glory Toxicity and LSD. Or in this case from Morning Glories is LSA by Gary J. Ordog, MD, Medical Toxicologist, Board Certified Specialist. And here is your beautiful Morning Glory in the morning. Uh, closes up at night, opens up in the morning to the morning sun. That's why I believe it's called Morning Glory and uh, makes you feel happy in the morning but extremely toxic uh, do not eat it any part of the plant could be potentially toxic but especially the uh, seeds which form in the seed pod after the plant has flowered and been pollinated and these are little black seeds kind of reminiscent of a poppy seed but be careful Okay, this is Dr. Gary Ordog again. I'm talking about morning glories this time. A, another toxic plant. This one in British Columbia, but they do grow in many other places. This is growing wild here. And it has a nice flower that comes out in the morning. And it's uh, gloryful, so it's called the morning glory. Uh, and then you can see it's the actual flower. Very nice, very pretty. Uh, not really toxic to touch if you don't touch it too much. Here's the uh, bud and this will turn into uh, seeds inside after they're pollinated. And very pretty flower, nice nice buds there's some buds and the seeds will be inside uh, let's see if they're ripe here no they're not ripe still uh, still a green seed pod but the seeds aren't actually ripe okay morning glory uh, famous for LSD but it's not actually LSD LSD is synthesized in the lab, it's synthetic, uh, what's in these flowers and plant, and especially the seeds is LSA, which is lysergic acid amide versus lysergic acid diethylamide, which is LSD. Uh, but this was made famous by Timothy Leary, did experiments with uh, this plant because uh, and with the actual synthetic LSD because it's a hallucinogen and uh, he did a lot of experiments to uh, verify that and study that and see if it was useful for treatment etc. But anyway he ended up in trouble because uh, they made the uh, ingredient LSD illegal and so he had some troubles with the law with that. So, very pretty flower. Uh, LSA, by the way, um, you know, I don't recommend you touch it or eat it or take it, but the LSA had no flashbacks compared with LSD, so actually it was considered to be safer. So, if you must know that, great. Anyway, uh, toxic plants, stay away from it. The seeds are the most poisonous. Are going by trying to get some information obviously and uh, so don't eat it don't let your kids eat it very toxic uh, could be fatal if uh, too much is taken I don't recommend uh, eating or drinking or or mainly even uh, touching it for a long period of time it may actually be absorbed through your skin to some degree but Again, it's the, the seeds after they ripen are the most toxic uh, with the LSA, lysergic acid amide, versus the synthetic one, lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD. Okay, uh, another plant to stay away from. Uh, it's considered a weed here. And... Uh, I was actually told recently it was probably an invasive species. It may not even 
be natural. Uh, people do grow morning glories. They come in also different colors. This is the white wild variety. Uh, I have not seen in the wild other than white in British Columbia here. Uh, but I have seen them all the way down Oregon, Washington, California, into Mexico as well. Okay, thank you, Dr. Gary Ordog, ending this video. Have a good day. Have a good life. Please subscribe, channel, Gary Ordog. Thank you. Press on my caricature. Thank you. If one were to use this plant, it has a very low therapeutic margin, so it's easy to be poisoned by it. And yes, even Morning Glory can catch SARS-CoV-2 because of COVID-19. And these are SARS-CoV-2 lesions on the Morning Glory uh, leaf done experimentally. The monarch butterfly, among other insects, is a pollinator. And here's the structure for LSD, the two CH3 times two side groups are missing from the LSA, which is in the morning glory. So lysergic acid amide is the morning glory uh, toxin. Morning glory seeds, here they are, little black seeds, reminiscent of the size of a poppy seed. I do not recommend that you eat this plant, so do not eat extremely toxic, low therapeutic margin if one is to use it as a drug even. So a very small amount can be hazardous and potentially fatal. And I am board certified American Board of Medical Toxicology. Uh, I did help write and edit this uh, major textbook, Ellen Horn's Medical Toxicology, that also includes sections on these uh, drugs and toxins. So again, thank you for your